well we must understand that soil is very important for farmers because they grow crops on those soil and we get those crops in the form of finished food products right so we know that soil is very important for the farmers as well as for us now what exactly is soil well if you need to understand that you must understand how soil is formed right so soil is formed when rocks are weathered away and it is carried from one place to another so what do you see here you see a farmer carrying soil so we know that soil contains rocky material and decayed organic matter or humus so rocks tend to expand in the daytime and contract during night due to the change in the temperature right so after this takes place it leads to the cracking up of rock or breaking up of rock which finally breaks it into smaller pieces these weathered rocks are eventually carried away due to different agents helping them from one place to another and where they are deposited they lead to soil formation therefore soil is a valuable resource formed by the weathering of rocks also it is an important part of the uppermost layer of the earth's crust and is a mixture of fine powdered rocky material as we have just learned and decayed organic matter called humus so what exactly is humus we will learn about it as we succeed right so we just understood that soil formation doesn't takes place so easily and it also takes a lot of time so factors that affect or influence the soil formations are very important so what exactly are the factors if we have to name them they are time so soil formation takes place over a million years or over a thousand years it doesn't take place overnight the second factor is the parent material so the rock which is leading to the formation of a soil is very important the soil type or the properties of a certain soil can only be determined when we know from which rock the soil has been formed so the parent rock or the parent material plays a important role in the type of soil therefore this is the second important factor other than that we have topography so where the weathering of the parent rock takes place is also important where the soil is being formed or deposited is to be taken into account therefore topography plays an important role soil differs with topography the soil on the hill slope may be very different from that on a flat alluvial or fertile land right so topography is another important factor other than that we have climate so climate too plays an important role we learn about it the temperature changes the type of climate in the different parts of the world also plays important role in the different types of soil and lastly we have microorganisms so you remember we were talking about organic matter being an important part of the soil well the formation of this organic matter is because of the presence of microorganisms in the soil and how does it do that we will learn about it so let's learn how each factor influences the soil formation in details let's take a look at the first important factor that is the parent rock so you must have heard or seen that pottery making requires clay soil but where exactly does this clay soil come from well if you take a look here we see that mudstone and shale both after weathering and erosion leads to the formation of the clay soil therefore clay soil is a result of the weathering and erosion of these two rocks therefore here we can say that mudstone and shale are the parent rock of the clay soil let's take another example 
So what do we have here? We see that sandy soil is made out of sandstone. So what does this imply? This simply tells us that sandstone is the parent rock which after undergoing weathering and erosion has eventually led to the formation of the sandy soil. Another very interesting example is that of the black soil. Yes, isn't the name very interesting? Well, the black soil too has been formed after the weathering and erosion of the parent rock basalt. Therefore, basalt after going under weathering and erosion has led to the formation of the black soil. Therefore, these three examples tells us that parent rock is very important to understand the properties or the type of soil. So, there are different types of soil depending upon the parent rock or the rock from which they have been formed. So before moving on, can you help me answer this question? Black soil is formed from which parent rock? Is it the sandstone or is it the basalt or mudstone or is it shale? Yes, as we have just learned that basalt is the parent rock which after undergoing weathering and erosion leads to the formation of the black soil. Now let's understand another important factor. So we know that at daytime the rocks tend to expand due to thermal expansion and at night time they tend to contract due to lowering of temperature that is thermal contraction. Right? So this continuous expansion and contraction leads to breaking of rocks. Rain as another important climatic condition plays equally important role in the weathering of the rocks. So these weathered rocks eventually break down into smaller and smaller pieces and then gets carried away, that is get eroded from one place to another and leads to the formation of soil. So we just learned how parent rock and climatic conditions affect or influence soil formation. Let's learn about the third factor that is topography. Now how exactly the topography plays a role in the soil formation? Well, if we take a look at different types of slope, like a steep slope or a gentle slope. So the erosion or the weathering of the rocks takes place at a different rate due to the different types of slopes. The rocks that are weathered on a steep slope due to the agents of rain acting on it, it gets eroded and then deposited on the foothills. While on a gentle slope, after weathering and erosion takes place, the soil is formed on the very gentle slope. It is not pulled down to the foothills. Now, why is it different? It is all because of the gravitational pull of the earth. So in a steep slope, the gravity of the earth acts more rapidly or more faster, while on a gentle slope, the pull of the gravity is less as compared to a steep slope. Therefore, accumulation of weathered rock materials is less on the steep slope while it is more on the gentle slope because of the gravitational pull of the earth. So we just learned how parent rock, how the climatic conditions and the slope of the land or the topography affects or influences the soil formation. So let's learn about the fourth factor that is the microorganisms role in the soil formation. So you know the dead plants and animals on the surface of the earth are decomposed by the microorganisms which eventually leads to the formation of organic matter called humus. This humus increases the fertility of the soil and leads to healthier crop production. Right, so till now we have understood how different factors play important role in the formation of soil. We must also understand that these take thousands of years and the soil formation as it takes place over the years again and again, it forms different horizontal layers, right? 
So we understood here that over the years, soil formation takes place in different horizontal layers, right? So if we take a look at these different horizontal layers, we get the view of the soil profile. Therefore, a view of the different layers of the soil gives us the soil profile. Therefore, soil profile is nothing but a view of the different layers of the soil. So let's learn about each layer in details. So we understood that soil can be divided into four distinct layers or horizons. Right? So if we divide the soil into four different layers, these are how we can name them. So the uppermost layer of the soil is the topsoil. This topsoil contains the humus, that is the organic matter, which helps in increasing the fertility of the soil and it also affects the crop production. The second layer is the subsoil. Therefore, the subsoil falls just below the topsoil and it usually contains larger fragments of sediments. And it is mostly known as a storehouse of moisture. Following the subsoil, we have the third layer and that is the substratum layer. The substratum is also known as the layer containing the weathered rock materials. So the last layer or the fourth layer below the three horizons is the bedrock. This bedrock usually contains the parent rock which has been eroded and weathered over the years. So these were the four horizons or the four distinct layers of the soil. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5,000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock test. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.